how do you choose between oral treatment versus IV treatment in a patient? So if you read my section in Up to Date, treatment of iron deficiency in adults. For uncomplicated iron deficiency without active bleeding and without comorbid conditions or without a disorder known to be unresponsive to oral iron or in which oral iron causes harm, I would recommend one iron tablet every other day taken in the morning, at least 30 minutes away from food and coffee. I would say of the 4,000 people per year, that's a real number that I treat for iron deficiency, fewer than 10 get that recommendation out of 4,000. Because let's say you had an, an ulcer and your gastroenterologist fixed it and it was no longer bleeding. And I'm going to give you a choice. You can take one iron pill every other day. Hopefully it won't cause an exacerbation of your ulcer. Take it every other day for a year and you'll have correction of your iron deficiency as long as you're not bleeding and your periods aren't too heavy. And if you tolerate it and take it in, in a year, you'll have reasonable iron stores and a correction of your iron deficiency anemia. Or I can fix you in 20 minutes right now. All done. Take your pick. And it's enormously less toxic. For people who choose oral treatment, how do you choose between the formulations? Because there are multiple formulations. Yeah, in the there, I, I don't really care. I just got to stay away from ferrosequels and slow FE. I mean, they are absorbed so poorly. So if you feel like you must recommend slow FE or ferrosequels to reduce GI side effects. It's easier to tell the patient to put one in the toilet every day directly and just save the time of going through the gut because that's where it's going to end up anyway. <laughs> I don't care. Ferrosulfate's fine. Ferrosfumarate's fine. If you don't care about a ridiculous amount of money, you can use ferric maltal. It may be a little bit easier to tolerate, but it still has a 27% incidence of GI perturbation and it's failed to achieve non-inferiority against IV iron. But they're all about the same. They all cause GI side effects. They all cause constipation. They all make the stool thick, green, and tenacious. But if you have inflammatory bowel disease, heavy uterine bleeding, chronic kidney disease, collagen vascular disease, after bariatric surgery, I or pregnancy, where oral iron doesn't get to the baby, mm. doesn't get to the baby. The data is there. And now, if you would have done this interview two months ago, I would have said the big problem I have is that we don't have proof that IV iron does. Now we do. It was just published. So basically, pregnant women should not receive oral iron. I don't. Not after the first trimester. Now, in the first trimester. That's the only, only iron I prescribe, not because IV iron is dangerous in the first trimester, but because there's no safety data with IV iron in the first trimester. Mm. I tell them to take one iron pill every other day till 14 weeks. And then I give IV iron. Uh, and if I said, if you can't tolerate it, just don't take it, you know, you know, eat iron rich foods and I'll give you IV iron at week 14. Awesome. Speaking of IV iron, if you can just sit with the, the formulations of IV iron and uh, what are the nuances to know? Okay. So there are seven <laughs> formulations in the United States. So you have ferric gluconate and iron sucrose. That's for lecithin mm -hmm. and venifer. They're good. They're safe. They're just as effective as the, the next five that I'm going to tell you, but they require five to seven visits. So low molecular weight iron dextran takes an hour. Ferromoxetol takes half an hour. And ferric derisomaltose, which is monoferric, and ferric carboxymaltose, injectifer, take 20 minutes. You can give a gram. If you give a gram or 1,500 milligrams at five weeks, the hemoglobin rises the same. So you really, if you, if you need to give more than a gram, you need to wait a few weeks and then give another gram. 
because you don't have the ability to, to, to utilize more than a gram at once. My preference is to use low molecular weight iron dextrin, ferromoxetol brand, ferrahine, or ferric maltose as a single infusion in 20 to 60 minutes.